Hello everyone, this is Pookie Toad and welcome back to part 4 of Python full course and today we're going to look at list. So let's get started. Alright, we're now going to look at lists in Python. Basically, a list is a collection of elements. So you can use a list to store multiple elements. So for example, I could have a list that looks like this. I could say the student's grades is equal to, let's say they're all very smart. So 199, 98, 99, and let's say somebody got bonus points, so 105. And as you can see, when we run it, there's no error at all. And we can say, what is student's grade? And there are multiple operations you can do with a list. One of them is indexing. So you can say print students grade zero. And what this means is that it's going to print the first element of the list student grades. And in computer, in the computers, everything starts by a zero. You always index by zero. You always count by zero and we don't count by one. So when I say students grades one, it doesn't mean the first element, but it means the second element. And when I say students grades at index zero, it means the first element. So when I run it, you'll see that I get 100. For example, I can also say what students grade three, and I can pause and ponder and think about what that will output. So this is zero. One, two, three. So it should print 99. And as you can see, it does print 99. And we can also see what happens if we print student's grades of 4. And we get 105. There are other properties of a list. You can get the length of a list. So for example, I can say print len. And len is a function that you pass a list to it. And what it will do is that it will output the number of elements inside. So I do len and then I have to put parentheses for the function. And I say len of what? Len of student grades. And when I run it, I say I have 105, which was the previous output. And I have the length is of 5. Now I want to make my output more friendly. So as we learned before, we can do string concatenation. And I can say the student's grade at index 4 is of plus. And then we can also say the length of student's grade is of. And then when I run it, you'll see it gives me error. And now, by now, you should be used to it and you should see type error can only concatenate string, not int to string. And what this means is that I cannot merge a string with a integer. So I must convert that integer to a string first. So string of that plus string of this. And as you can see, it gives me the student's grade at index four is of 105 the length of student's grade is a 5. Now again, there is an alternative way to print uh, to print strings with variables inside, and this is called f strings. So what I can do is that instead of doing this plus, I can do print, and I have to put a f in front of the double quotes, and now I can write stuff. So I can say hello bada d, and when I run it, you'll see it behaves like a normal string. Except that when I have an f in front, I can put variables inside. So I can say, this is index four of student's grades. And I can say curly braces. I have to put curly braces. And I say student's grades at index four. And as you can see, it substitutes the value for you. And before we got the error that you cannot put an int to a string, but now because it's an f string, 
it automatically handles this for us and converts it to a string. Note that S strings are also much easier to understand and they are even faster, but it's only supported on Python 3. point something. So more recent versions of Python, not Python 2.7. Anyways, it is dead. <laughs> so I can now change the second one to a F string. So I can say print F, the length of student's grade is of and now I want to use my curly braces, so I say curly braces, and now I can put the value of a variable inside, or the value of an expression inside. So length of student grades, and then you'll see that it gives me the same output as I wanted. So this is index for student grade one hundred five, and the length of student grade is of five. So we've seen that we can index and find the length of a list. We can also do other things such as adding to a list. And how you do this is that you just use the append method. So I can say students grades dot append. And what I can say is that I want to append what? I want to append, let's say another grade, so 101. And you'll see that this gives me the length of student's grade is of 5. Which was not the output I wanted, and now I have to print student's grade as I forgot. And then you'll see that gives me the list. Note that here when you only print a variable and you don't concatenate with a string, it is fine to just print it the variable like this without converting to a string because Python will do it for you. So 199, 99, 105, and 101. And 101 is the grade that we've added. I can also add multiple this. I can also add another, adding another. I can say students grade dot append 102. And I can say print students grades. And you'll see that the second output is now the one with 102. Also, there are, you can modify. So modify values inside a list. So now I can say, for example, I want the first element to change. So students grades at index zero, you have to put square brackets. This is equal to, let's say, now let's change it to 78. And now if I print students grades, you'll see that it gives me 78 and then the rest so it didn't modify the first element and finally there is one stuff that is the coolest which is iteration that you can iterate over a look over a list but that's going to be for later when we look at for loops and so for now this is pretty much all you need to understand about lists so you can append you can modify, you can get their lengths, and you can get the values at a certain list. Also, you can also delete an element from a list using the pop method. So for example, I can say delete the third element. So I can say to pop students grades dot pop. And what I want is I want pop something and I'm going to pop the third element, which is the index 2. And then if I print students grades, you'll see that this gives me 78, 99, 99, 105. So basically 98 disappeared because I deleted it. So we've looked at append, pop, setting, and getting, as well as getting the length of a list and this is pretty much all you will need for list. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And in the next video, we are going to look at for loops as well as while loops. So stay tuned.